Moments of honesty. Somebody's got to take the lead tonight. Who's it going to be? I'm going to sit right here and tell you all that comes to me. If you have something to say, you should say it now. You should say it now. You ready? You give me the feeling that I never felt before. Y'all know that, Reggae? You give me a feeling that I never felt before, and I deserve it. I think I deserve it. I feel like that was the song that uh, Alicia Keys wrote. There you go. Miss Old School got it. That's because she Miss Old School. Take her down to the old school. Let's take her to music square. <laughs> Unthinkable. Yeah, that song. That song, I believe, is the song that Alicia Keys wrote to Swiss Beats when she stole him from his wife, uh, Mashonda. I think that's why Alicia Keys' career went peach because Alicia Keys painted herself as this wholesome princess, and then she ran off with a nigga wife. I mean, a, 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 a woman's husband. And I think when she ran off with Swiss's husband, I mean, Mashonda's husband, which was Swiss Beats, I think her fan base kind of abandoned her a little bit. Because they, a lot of people like Mashonda. Mashonda was, uh, is a very nice, sweet woman. So I think when Alicia Keys backstabbed her and was cheating with her husband and then took him and married him and had a kid, <clears throat> a lot of Mashonda fans and married women of such turned their back on Alicia Keys. Like, use a home wrecker. And that's why Alicia Keys' career is dead right now because of what she did. But on a positive note, let me take y'all on a flashback. If you never met Swiss Beef's first wife, Mashonda, this is her. All right? I did this interview. Shout out to my girl, Nicey. This is when Mashonda had a deal with Sony? I think she was signing Sony Records. And... Uh, she had a joint with Nas, and she deb debuted it for me. But look at this, the old Swiss, and then look at the Swiss now. Right? <laughs> Swiss done changed a lot since then. This is before he got down with the, this is before uh, whatever. <laughs> Let me keep it uh, on Mashonda. Shonda was a cutie, too. It's your host, Nice D, here with Mashonda at Sony Studios in New York City. And we just sampled your album, January Joy. In my opinion, I would call it January through December Joy because it's a year round album. Thank you. And I just think it's incredible. I have to Thank say you that. so much. Yes, definitely. Next Joy right here. This is my second single. It's called Blackout, featuring Nas. And we was in rehearsal one day. And just the intro to this came on, and these two fools went crazy. <laughs> I just gotta say about this, Swiss produced the hell out of this song, and it's just mad. Yes. It's the ultimate club, lose your mind. Number six. Okay. Swiss got his paper up. Where your jewelry at, Swiss? <laughs> Swiss the came up. Swiss the came up. <laughs> he got Alicia Keys the came up. Yeah. <laughs> 
Everybody's ready. I had to, to get, get up and up. lose I mean, it, right? Yeah. It. I mean, how did that come about? Like, I mean, you write it and then Swiss came Black with the beat. Blackout. Like, Swiss came with the beat and he said, you gotta do this. This has to be a second single. And we got Sean Garrett to write it. And Sean Garrett is the guy that wrote Yeah for Usher. He wrote um, Destiny's Child, their last single. Um, he's amazing. Yeah, yeah. And he, like, he, he heard that track and just blacked out. He called, he was like, yo. Oh gotta hear this and you came up and we recorded it together and it just came out crazy question question to the fellas and the ladies that like the ladies would you have left Mashonda just based on looks would you have left Mashonda for Alicia Keys you can give me a yes or no in the chat yes or no fellas or ladies that's into ladies would you have left Mashonda for Alicia Keys? I ain't talking about based off careers. I'm just talking about based off love. Remember, Swiss got kids well with Mashonda too. So let's see what y'all say. Nope. I'm a chocolate lover. No. 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 Nope. Gotti boy, you look, you out rule, Gotti boy. Never. I I wouldn't have left for Sean to either. I ain't going to lie to you. I take Sean over uh, Alicia Keys all day. Not that Alicia Keys ain't beautiful, but Mashonda is, she got that around the way girl look. Yeah, it's much Shonda with a uh, M, uh, not Rich Shonda. It's with an M, much Shonda. No, nope. not about looks only though. It's not about looks only. They about the same. I'll take Alicia Keys. Alicia Keys look better. Mm. I don't know. I guess it's yeah, it's, it's, to each his own, right? To each his own. Young Elder, you already know, out on all platforms, learn from mistakes. All right, let's get back into it. It's so different. Yeah. <laughs> you saw me. I, I had to get up. I had to get up. It was it was amazing. And how did you come up with that? Were you in a certain mood that put you in? I mean, what happened? Made that beat. Made that beat. Really? Yeah, I made that beat for Buster, but I gave him a couple of beats. We was looking for what we was missing off the album. Like, yeah, I just need that one that more situation. spaz out, you know what I'm saying? Like, like back at the club. It's cool, you know what I'm saying? It's nice and sexy. You get them to the dance floor, you know, it's a nice. I want some, I want some of they black out. You know what I'm saying? And so, took that back from Bus. I'm like, you got that right there. I've never heard anybody take a peek back. I, I didn't do that, too. but. I've never heard somebody take a peek. He took his feet back. You can do that. <laughs> he gonna I mean, you're saying, being honest. Like, you know, Buster, we... please don't be mad. I mean, it's all about you. Know, <laughs> you know, but he know what I gave him. I gave him some. I gave him a lot of stuff to it. It wasn't like the only thing that he was leaning on. So it was like, yo, let me get that back. You got five. Good. Hey, 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 hey. No talking about Swiss beef. Swiss beef. <laughs> Hey, no talking about Swiss Beast's outfit, man. Leave his gear alone. He he wasn't there yet. He, he didn't have the right stylist yet. Chill out. 
Chill out. Leave Swiss alone. He wasn't there yet. It's before verses. All right? <laughs> it's before Alicia Keys put that swag on that nigga. Chill out, y'all. Leave, leave Swizzy alone. It's still a BX thing. <laughs> So it was like, I, you know, that's for Shannon, so you know, it was all love, you know. What do you think about working with Swiss? I know you have a personal relationship with him. Do you think it enhances working with him in the studio? It, it makes it easier, and sometimes it makes it harder, you know? Um, but it's it's good all around. He's supportive, and he holds it down. So he's not going to let me do anything that doesn't make sense. Mm -hmm. So it works out.